In metallurgy, the term phase is used to refer to a physically homogeneous state of matter, where the phase has a certain chemical composition and a distinct type of atomic bonding and arrangement of elements. Within an alloy, two or more different phases can be present at the same time. Each phase within an alloy has its own distinct physical, mechanical, electrical, and electrochemical properties. The phases present in an alloy depend on the alloy composition and the thermal treatment to which the alloy has been exposed. Pure iron, which is the basic constituent of steel, is extremely soft and is not used in structural applications. It has a body-centered cubic structure at room temperature, and at high temperatures between 910 to 1394 degrees Celsius it changes to face-centered cubic, and between 1394 to 1538 degrees Celsius, it returns to body-centered cubic. However, iron with up to 2% carbon is known as steel, making it the most widely used engineered material in the world. Understanding steel microstructure is necessary for designing and producing materials with specific performance attributes, ensuring the reliability and safety of countless applications from buildings and bridges to machinery and vehicles. What is the microstructure of steel? The microstructure of steel refers to the arrangement and distribution of its constituent phases and grains within a sample of steel at the microscopic level. The microstructure of steel depends on its composition, heat treatment, and cooling rate during its manufacturing process. The microstructure of steel is important in determining its mechanical properties such as strength, hardness, ductility, and toughness. The main microstructure components or phases found in steel are 1. Ferrite, 2. Austenite, 3. Cementite, 4. Perlite, 5. Martensite, 6. Binite, 7. Retained austenite. Ferrite. When carbon atoms are only in a small fraction of the interstices of the iron lattices, the steel has a ferrite microstructure. Ferrite or alpha iron is a metallurgical term for a solid solution with iron as the main constituent. It is a body-centered cubic crystal structure that is soft, ductile, and similar to pure iron. It is the softest of all the phases present in steel. Its yield strength depends on the following factors, grain size, solid solution strengthening, prior strain, etc. The ferrite microstructural phase limits the amount of carbon in the interstices to 0.02% at 723 degrees Celsius. While at room temperature it drops to 0.006%. Although structurally identical as shown in the phase diagram, the ferrite forming at the higher temperature is designated delta ferrite. While the ferrite forming at a lower temperature is called alpha ferrite. The alpha ferrite is stable below 910 degrees Celsius. This phase is magnetic below 768 degrees Celsius and has a maximum carbon content of 0.02%. Above 1390 degrees Celsius up to the melting point of 1539 degrees Celsius, the delta ferrite is stable. Austenite. Austenite, also known as gamma phase iron, is a non-magnetic face-centered cubic structure phase of iron. This phase is a solid solution of carbon in face-centered cubic iron with a maximum solubility of 2.14%. That is, austenite microstructure phase has a large interstitial gap that can contain up to 2% carbon at 1150 degrees Celsius. The phase is non-magnetic. Austenite in steel is generally stable above the critical eutectoid temperature, 723 degrees Celsius, and below 1500 degrees Celsius depending on carbon content. However, it's unstable when cooled at temperature below the eutectoid point, 723 degrees Celsius, when it undergoes an allotropic transformation to ferrite and cementite during slow cooling. The addition of certain alloying elements, such as nickel and manganese, can stabilize the austenite phase at room temperature. Some austenite doesn't transform into martensite during quenching, creating retained austenite. Its presence depends on factors like carbon content and alloying elements such as nickel or manganese. Carbon plays an important role in heat treatment because it expands the temperature range of austenite stability. Higher carbon content lowers the temperature needed to austenize steel. Cementite. Cementite, also known as iron carbide, is a metastable phase with a fixed composition of iron and carbon. It decomposes extremely slowly at room temperature into alpha iron and graphite according to the reaction. Cementite has the characteristics of a ceramic, 
very hard and brittle, with low toughness and little resistance to crack initiation and propagation, which makes it suitable for strengthening steels. Its mechanical properties are a function of its microstructure, which depends upon how it is mixed with ferrite. It occurs as a micro-constituent in hypoeutectoid steel either as spheroidized carbide or as the grain boundary phase. It is an important phase in perlite. Perlite. In metallurgy, perlite is a layered metallic structure of two phases, which are composed of alternating layers of ferrite at 87.5% weight and cementite at 12.5% weight that occurs in some steels. It is named for its resemblance to the mother of pearl, that is, it forms a lamella structure resembling a mother of pearl under a microscope. Perlite is usually formed when homogeneous austenite steel is slowly cooled in either air, called normalizing, or furnace atmospheres, called annealing, below the eutectoid point, temperature 723 degrees Celsius. It becomes completely perlite at 0.8% composition of carbon. It is therefore the eutectoid decomposition product of austenite. During the slow cooling, the carbon precipitates as cementite between laths of ferrite at the advancing interface, leaving parallel laths of ferrite and cementite which is perlite. The properties observed in perlite are generally resistant to wear and structurally strong. The hardness and strength of perlite depends on the intermellar spacing. The hardness decreases gradually with increasing intermellar spacing. Martensite. Martensite is an interstitial metastable solid solution of carbon in iron. Martensite is formed in steels when the cooling rate from austenite is sufficiently fast, that carbon atoms do not have enough time to diffuse out of the crystal structure in large enough quantities to form cementite. It is a very hard metastable structure, due to the carbon that is trapped, this distorts and strains the crystal matrix into a body-centered tetragonal structure. Unlike austenite decomposition to ferrite and perlite, the transformation to martensite does not involve atom diffusion but rather occurs by a sudden diffusionless shear mechanism. The transformation begins at a martensite start temperature and continues during further cooling until the martensite finish temperature is reached. The hardness of martensite depends significantly on the carbon content. Retained austenite is the term given to austenite that does not transform to martensite during quenching. The amount of retained austenite is a function of several factors, including carbon content and alloying to specifically promote retention of the austenitic structure. Bionite. Bionite is a plate-like microstructure that forms in steel from austenite when cooling rates are not fast enough to produce martensite, but are rapid enough so that carbon does not have enough time to diffuse to form perlite. The carbon or alloy steel is rapidly cooled to a temperature below that of perlite formation but above that of martensite formation, and is held at that temperature, the austenite decomposes isothermally to bionite. It is a non-lamellar decomposition product of austenite, formed in the temperature range of 550 degrees Celsius, and the martensite start temperature. It is characterized by a layered structure composed of fine needle-like plates of ferrite and carbide, with the carbide in a dispersed or coarse distribution within the ferrite matrix. Bainitic steels are generally stronger and harder than perlitic steels, yet they exhibit a desirable combination of strength and ductility. There are two known morphologies of bionite microstructure, they are upper and lower bionite. Upper bionite, known as feathery bionite, generally forms at a temperature between 550 degrees Celsius and 400 degrees Celsius consists of ferrite lath with cementite along the lathe boundaries. Lower bionite, known as acicular bionite, generally forms at temperatures between 400 and 250 degrees Celsius. Comprises ferrite plates with cementite platelets at an angle of 55 degrees to the plate boundaries. Bainitic structures are commonly found in some structural steels and high-temperature steel, such as rotors and superheater tubes in thermal power plants.